Hey YouTube. Alright, we're using, utilizing the motorcycle trailer as a stand right now because uh, I can't really do this in the shop very easily. I had a comment, thank you for the comment by the way, about the diesel heater and yeah I gave that some thought about the CO danger uh, and I'll show you why, uh, what I I tried to explain earlier, but I'll show you what my plan is to, uh, uh, what is the word, to get rid of any of that. This is really the side I wanted to, everybody to kind of see. This is the plan for where the tank is going to be, the door being back here somewhere, I haven't decided yet, but for safety sakes we'll move this over like that. Because So what I did is set my piece in here for the width and then we'll take our piece of board and have that set to the same width. Now we'll just flip it this way and we'll make squares, perfect squares so that from there we can make our 45 degree cut. So here we go. little finger over here to help hold the hand in place. So we'll make a bunch of these and then uh, once we get these made we'll come back in with the miter gauge Cut them right down there and make our 45s. 
So I got to make a bunch of these. No sense in watching me do it over and over again. That's what we're going to do. And then in the meantime, I meant to shoot this, but I didn't, but I'll do it again. I took the cedar boards and strip, cut them into two inch strips for the first vertical column. We're going to try that out, see what I can come up with. The uh, best method for me to do that. And I've got them clamped together because the uh, cedar boards seem to kind of work pretty easy. It's a really soft wood. So I'm going to clamp them up like that, let them sit in here for a couple days, uh, help force them to be a little straighter before I glue them up and make the uh, column. So, hey you guys, we're making the, uh, oops, the wing braces. And uh, gotta put in the uh, triangles in here. So gotta get this nice and tight. Oh, uh, by the way, too, I've been using. Uh, Type bond three because it's a pretty good strong glue and it's water resistant. Might even be waterproof, I'm not positive. Okay, so pretty close. Now let's see. I'm gonna tighten this up. Okay, slid a little bit right there, there we go, alright, so, put that guy in place, I'm going to shoot some two inch brads in. thing I learned when you're shooting these things don't keep your fingers anywhere near where they go because if they hit a hard spot they'll spin or twist or bend and I've had them go into my finger and it hurts okay so we got that side secure we got this one in And that's how I'm going about building these up. Don't need to watch me make a bunch of them. And when I'm all done, we'll put it on the shop smith and we'll cut these little edges off here. Make it for a real nice, uh, real nice complete build. But I got quite a few to do. I don't want to bore you with it. Hey everybody. All right, we're working out how to mount um, how to mount this guy, uh, the heater, because I'm almost part of, I'm going to need to be able to get into it when the camper is still on the truck. Hopefully not, but I need to anticipate that something going wrong uh, with either you know the, the exhaust leaking out or the fuel line. So what I did is I took the mount that came with it, this metal plate here, put it onto this piece of wood, cut a oblong shape opening so that none of the heat will be touching any wood. It's all metal there. And then I, I took these brackets, these angle brackets,